and they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Offense getting set for first down. They'll give it to the back. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. Looking downfield, it's Uyunglele. That was almost picked off, and what a disaster that would have been to throw a pick on the opening drive. Instead, it's fourth down. Well, they try to throw for it there on third down on the opening drive of the game. They don't get it, but let's punt the ball away. Let's trust our defense, and guys, let's also trust this home field advantage and the crowd to get loud and make it real difficult on our opponent. So we're scoreless, their first drive of the game, and this coach is wasting no time taking a gamble by going for it on fires into traffic, intercepted. Looking for more room. And just an outstanding return, takes it back to the seven yard line. Well, we knew coming into this one, this was an offense that wanted to come out, sling it around, but the timing is gonna have to be a whole lot better. This defense has athletes who can close on the ball and make plays, and you saw it right there in that interception to open this game. They'll run it on first and goal. Not much room, he gets one down to the seven. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. Snags it. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it out. It's green. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with the system. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The give to the back. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Throws to the tight end. Working the middle. At the 40, there he goes. And he gets it done on third down. They move the chains, and they'll mark it at the 44. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, and now the defense is really on its heels. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. They were trying to get the screen set up, but it just took a little too long to develop. Yeah, and the quarterback's supposed to, you know, invite those guys to run up field on a screen pass, but they got to him so fast, he couldn't get rid of the football, and they got the sack. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. It's complete! That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. 
third down, the, the focus of the defense has to shift. It has to change. We have to understand now exactly where the sticks are. We can't give up those plays for them to get beyond the sticks and get those first downs. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And they try to sneak the draw in there, and the defense was not for them. You know, there's an art to selling the draw play, and that one was uh, kind of more paint by numbers. Didn't turn out so well. And the defense, you could tell, they weren't fooled. They were agreeing with your painting by numbers and got in there quick, fast, and made the game. Well, the quarterback knew where he wanted to go with the ball. His intended target just wasn't open, so the quarterback made sure he put that football in the stands. Trying to move the sticks on third down. Back to pass. It's Uyangalale. Fires a ball, and now it's picked off. And the offense makes the tackle in frustration after the interception drive comes up empty and it's a turnover. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. He'll come out throwing on first down. He looks that one in nicely. There to make the tackle, and that's how we'll wrap up this first period. We'll start the quarter off. It's about to snap it on second down. Direct snap. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. Well, at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game. Caught in the backfield, it's Singleton. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. They'll go back to the ground. The Yellow Jackets get enough to move the chains. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. He's looking to throw it. Setting up the screen. And this one will be stopped for no gain. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. Still some work to do after that last completion. It's second down. To throw, it's King. Got his man on the right. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. This offense has become a first down machine, and that is so demoralizing for the defense, especially for those star players that are playing tons of snaps and not subbing out as much. By the fourth quarter, they're going to be jacked. He showed it all there, a little looseness, a little power, and he's got the first down. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football, be physical, get a big game. And the Yellow Jackets trying to cash it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he'll glide his way in for the score. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets! They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a 
chance to make this a one possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important down two possessions, Dave, that they're able to score some points. You got to call your best stuff in this two minute situation. And, and such a good opportunity to cut it to a one score game, create that momentum, get some good juices going for the second half. Because obviously, you know, you built yourself a little bit of a deficit. You need some good things to happen, and it needs to happen on this possession. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. Corners showing press. They want to be physical here. One more satellite. Four, one more satellite. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. Fights his way for a couple, but stopped short of the marker. It's fourth and one. Defense going to use a timeout. Can't afford to have any confusion on the call here. The offense stays on the field. Maybe they'll try to make the defense jump. They also might try to run it ahead for one yard. On fourth down, going to the air. Makes a catch past the sticks. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. They were willing to spin that wheel of fortune in their own territory, and it paid off. And it came up good. <laughs> I mean, I think you see the aggressiveness by these offenses now willing to go for it in their own territory, and I like it because they got it. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. As the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Trying play action. And as he throws, that pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. A third and long coming up here. Looking downfield, it's Uyunga Lele. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. And the Knowles will punt it away on fourth down. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. No return coming here. Fair catch is signal for and made just shy of the 30. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. Pass is incomplete, and we dwindle down to seven seconds. And that's how pressure on a quarterback can affect the passing game. They were able to get after him on that play, and as a result, the QB made a bad decision, forcing that football into double coverage. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. And the Seminoles will kick it away to crank up the second half. He'll return it. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Georgia Tech has the ball back, and here comes the Yellow Jacket offense. Running back goes in motion. He'll start this third quarter with a run. Danced his way through traffic. Pick up a four to the 19. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Wants to throw. It's Kane. Quickly complete. 
He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback can throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver staring at the quarterback all the way across the field, that time the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. Man, these plays are really, really simple and really easy to run. I like it. Just drop back as a quarterback, see the big fella, wait for him to get open, hit him, get a nice positive game. Quick completion to the right. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. What a weapon these wide receiver screens can be. Not only do you get a convoy blocking, you get dynamic run. When you do this and you show me the threat of throwing this wide receiver screen, it makes me play defense differently. It makes me have more guys out wide, which opens the box inside. So I think it's really smart for coordinators and offenses to continually throw these screens to playmakers. So surprised we have not been calling this guy's name more. He's one of the best tight ends in the country, but give the defense credit. They have had an outstanding game plan limiting him so far. That's only his second catch of the game. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Makes the grab. It's Singleton. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse. Losing yardage on that play. Even if they don't convert, picking up a few would give them a decision to make on fourth down. It's third and long from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. The short hand, it's Boyd. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. On third down, offenses have their plays. What they like in third and short, what they like third and medium, third and long. Great job by the offense having success. Now it's incumbent upon the defense to learn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. He wants to throw. Pulls it in. It's Haynes. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. They were able to get the ball to the running back in space, but that space just evaporated. Yeah, a great job by the defense, man. It's tough to... Get those guys on the ground. They're so used to being having the football as running backs and making plays and being dynamic. So usually one guy not going to get into the ground. You want many guys swarming to the football trying to get that elusive guy on the ground. Well, that was less than choreographed. Everybody going on their own snap count there. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. To the air, it's King. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. He runs out of bounds, and it's no First down for the offense. Jackets come to the line with a new set of downs. Quarterback checking off. To the air on first down. The freshman trying to take a shot but put just a little too much on it. Well, the good news is he did a nice job reading the coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football that time. Just a little bit too much on that pass. You wonder if that's just nerves. He's got to settle himself down here. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Got rid of it in a hurry, but he couldn't find his man. It's incomplete. For a quarterback, those mechanics need to be second nature, but sometimes uh, they can get a little rushed. Yeah, and we've, we've seen that. We've had spin sessions on the field with four games with Jesse, and just gets on that back foot a lot and just can't stay consistent at all. It might be the hair gel you know, weighing him down, but then that back foot just starts to slide in there. Mechanics get bad, sloppy. And the Yellow Jackets will hustle to the line. 
Well, this defense has given up some big plays in this game so far, but they've got a lot of talent on that side of the football. Someone has to step up here, make a play, get a stop, and put their team in a position to win. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. On the run, it's Kane. And it's intercepted, maybe breathing a little life into this team. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do and he is finding wide open defenders all over the field his third interception of the day and they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception it doesn't get any better for your defense you know exactly the situation in the fourth quarter everything in your favor don't let them make big plays how about you make a big play nice job getting the interception it's not icing on the cake yet but it's getting pretty close Catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Offense gets the job done again. You want to build that cushion as we get deeper into the second half. Man, it makes it easy, doesn't it? You start getting up by a couple possessions, making the offense very predictable on the other side. Great job by the offense extending their lead. And he knocks the extra point through the uprights. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. This has been a really disappointing performance, David. No question about that. But they can find some positive. Yeah, and every time you watch the tape, you know, Jesse, coaches are pointing out, look at this. This was open if we had just ran the details to the right route, hung on to the football. Little things can make a big difference. Yeah, that's why they call it a game of inches, David. But I'll say this. If you're on offense, don't go on social media this week. It ain't going to be pretty after this performance. You've got to lock in. You've got to take the week of practice very seriously and find Find those positives that you can build off, David, you're talking about. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chain for the first down. New set of downs after that completion. Trying to find his man on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. And the Seminoles moving quickly to the line. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. Pocket starts to collapse. What a spectacular grab there as they try to finish this game with a little something to feel good about. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Scanning the field, it's Uyunga Lele. Got him downfield. Got some room in it. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State. And a nice touchdown, continuing to fight, continuing to play. This one, it, it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It, it would take a miracle, but nice job by this offense, continuing to fight, push the ball down the field, make plays. And the extra point splits the upright. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone, it's Haynes. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The rambling wreck offense rolls back onto the field. 
Final minute. This game's on ice. They can take a knee and run out the clock. This offense has to feel great with how they're able to go out, execute, and perform big plays all game long. I think it's sending a statement, too, to future defenses down the road on the schedule. They're going to be tough to contend with. Yeah, I mean, they got firepower. Putting up so many points. This thing is easily over. Now they can just chillax, go back to the locker room, know they're going to get the victory. Holds and fires complete to the right. And the freshman does a great job using his technique in getting the man on the ground. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. They'll run play action. Looking left. Makes the grab. He'll have enough for the first down, and they stop him at the 45. Timeout is called by the offense. 16 seconds left in the game. The Yellow Jackets will snap it on first and 10. He's going to pass. Going deep. Snags it inside the 20. And he just kept running, and he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. And they say play to the final whistle. This offense took it to heart. Scoring late, maybe they could have wasted the clock. They made no doubt about it. This one's over. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns, a 21-point cushion in the fourth. The kickoff unit about to go to work. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. One more play to pad the stats. Looking to pass. It's Uyunga Lele. He's taking a deep shot. Another interception. That's his fourth of the day. And he's going to go down as time has run out. I know a lot of people thought this was going to be a blowout, but this team said just when you think 